it was our desire to remind you that you are vibrational first which means you got to pay attention to something other than what you're seeing and hearing and smelling and tasting and touching because while that is vibrational interpretation most people don't know that so it was necessary to help you to understand that you are emitting a vibrational signal in order to help you to understand that your signal that you are emitting is being answered all the time and that's what equals your life experience period most humans don't know that and in many cases don't want to know that because they don't want to assume responsibility for what's coming especially the parts they didn't want to come Abraham I'm sure I'm not the creator of my own reality I would not have created that and we say we didn't say you did it on purpose but you did do it you did do it sounds a little blameful doesn't it you did do it <laughs> but when you realize that you have creative control of your experience because you have vibrational control of your experience because you have focused control of your experience because you have the ability to focus then you say all right but then when it's hard you say not all right this shouldn't be this hard this shouldn't be this hard and then you say something which is the last thing we ever want to hear from you I'm not good at this but you are good at it you just don't know you're good at it you just haven't practiced being good at it in the way that really gives you the clarity and that's really what we're going to be talking about here today if you've been following us for a while you've heard us say that you are the creator of your own reality blah 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 enough of that <laughs> And that you live in a vibrational universe blah 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 enough of that already but you do and you are so blah 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 <laughs> so here you are the creator of your own reality and life is constantly throwing things at you isn't it well it's not really like that life is happening around you and you are observing but it really isn't after you it's not testing you it's not challenging you it's just being around you for you to observe it's just this magnificent palette for you to play in so life is happening around you and you are participating in it through your observation through your memory through your awareness through your conversation you're participating in it and as you are doing that you are coming to lots of conclusions many and every day of what you want because life helps you to know what you don't want you know what you don't want you know what you do want you know what you don't want you know what you do want it's just this wonderful variety or contrast that helps you to come to important personal conclusions so these conclusions happen within you and we've been calling that step one because these the variety the contrast that surrounds you causes you to ask for what you want whether you use words or not you just constantly keep coming to personal preferences you were born like that you've always been like that you will never stop being like that we want you to accept that you are like that it's a good thing step one is a really really good thing you're asking constantly it is the basis of the expansion of the universe it's a wonderful thing so you're asking step one step two not your work that's where law of attraction and the source within you answers what you're asking for when you emit a signal the signal is answered so ask answer ask answer ask answer but your discomfort is that there often appears to you to be quite a time gap between your asking and the universe answering but there is not a time gap between the answer there's just a time gap between you getting up to speed with the answer you say hey Abraham that can't be right because I want it I'm paying attention if it were there I would know it and we say it comes in a vibrational form first and you say oh so that's the catch you're giving me something vibrational that I can't see or hear or smell or taste or touch so you can say all day that when I ask it is given write a book about it if you want Abraham <laughs> you can say that all day but to me it doesn't feel like it's being given and we say that's because you're in a different frequency from what you're asking for you have to line up with what you're asking for in other words when you want more money because you clearly do not have enough when you feel frightened or bound or in trouble financially or just not satisfied when you feel that way you are that way and you say no I feel that way because I am that way and we say no you am that way because you feel that way in other words it, it works differently than you think it does but you've been observing it for so long you don't know which came first but what comes first always is your vibrational 
countenance and then the manifestation just matches what you feel like so if you want more money and you feel like you don't have enough money you can ask all day all day all day every day you can write long lists of it but if in your belly if in your being if you're feeling the fear or the absence of money then you've got a vibration going that's different from the answer that you seek you want more money but your vibration says I don't have enough and the universe says and law of attraction answers you with what you're feeling so a lot of our physical friends especially in the beginning say well then it doesn't seem like I can get there from there I doesn't seem like I can get to where I want to be from where I am because if I am missing something that I want and I'm aware that I'm missing this thing that I want and in fact the reason that I'm speaking about it so clearly is because it's missing and that's why I want it then how do I get there and we say you have to feel like it feels to have it and you say okay then give it to me and I will <laughs> and we say just try a little bit just try a little bit to not activate within yourself so often the vibration of what's missing and focus yourself into activating the vibration of what you want it is not as difficult as you think so step one is contrast causes you to ask step two is it is given vibrationally so there is no gap really step three is you have to convince yourself there's no gap that's the work you got to feel it as if it is in order for it to be and we know you balk at it but many of you are practicing this and are finding it many of you are understanding the laws of the universe and you're finding ways to focus yourself into feeling good without needing all of the evidence to be there first ah do you hear how important that is if you don't need the evidence for what you want to be there first before you feel it then you are able to accomplish the vibrational countenance of it before it is which means now it must be and Esther said please 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 let's call it step four please 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 can't we call it step four we need another step we need another step Abraham please please let's call it step four and we say all right step four <laughs> so you ask step one source answers step two you allow it step three but now we've been talking to you for a while you've been keeping up with this pretty good and we're saying to you that if you don't try so hard if you just accept that you are naturally good feeling beings and when you wake up in the morning before you start thinking about the things that you've got to do that you don't want to do before you start remembering the injustices of yesterday or 10 years ago before you remember that you're going to that place today to work that you really don't want to be before your kids get up before any of those things happen that challenge your sense of well-being if you can get hold of that sense of well-being and just sustain it for a little bit with really general thoughts because if you get specific it usually doesn't work as well get into an attitude of appreciation and milk it for just a little bit law of attraction will help you out because law of attraction says that that which is likened to itself is drawn and law of attraction will give you it's not really giving it to you it's just the way it is it's like gravity doesn't give you attachment to the planet <laughs> it just is so law of attraction provides for you this consistent life experience so to make it very clear and blunt blunt we like blunt you have 17 seconds to sustain this thought and move it into something even more powerful 17 seconds and another thought like it joins it and there is power manifestational power in that crossing that 17 second mark that most people don't know about or when they wake up they would make very sure that they stay there for 17 seconds so if you find a good feeling thought or better said if you wake up and don't introduce a not good feeling thought because when you wake up there's no thought during that time of slumber you have stopped the momentum of all thought that's really an important thing to understand you don't know that mostly because you wake up and you start thinking so fast that you pick up your momentum right where you were and start it all over again 
but when you slumber momentum of thought stops law of attraction is suspended for you your point of attraction is no longer attracting so when you wake up you have a really good possibility of getting out of the bed on the right foot getting out on the right side of the bed these are your words we don't like them very much but we thought you'd relate <laughs> You have a very good possibility of getting the vibration going the way you want it to go and your best possibility is first thing in the morning first thing in the morning before there is any other momentum going so we've been talking about this for a while and Esther really 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 listened so she decided that she was gonna wake up on that first morning and she was going to sustain her good feeling that she had awakened with and she didn't make it until breakfast quite annoyed with herself which didn't help but the next day she tried it again and didn't make it much past breakfast then she discovered that if she just wouldn't read her email <laughs> it would help so her dominant intent became to sustain this feeling of well-being as long as I can just sustain it and what she began noticing about the second week and third week and fourth week of doing that was that not only was it easy to find and maintain that frequency that frequency of feeling good but there were all kinds of other benefits that began coming to her that these words won't give to you you have to do it and find it yourself because words don't teach so we're just explaining to you what Esther experienced she found a new clarity that was not within her before she found a sort of stable ride she remembered Jerry's story of shock absorbers he used to tell a story about he got a new car he was test driving it it was a beautiful Cadillac and it was in San Diego and the salesperson took him down a road that Jerry thought no nice car should ever be on and he was amazed at the ride that that car gave him even on a very bumpy road because the suspension system the shock absorbers were such that even though there were bumps in the road he did not feel them in that car and he used that analogy always and it's the same analogy that we're offering to you here when you find vibrational alignment with who you really are and you sustain it for a period of time what happens is you get shock absorbers so even though the same sort of things may be happening around you you might even see some of them although law of attraction makes it less and less likely that you're going to participate on any personal level with anything unwanted once you begin sustaining this vibration of well-being but the whole point of all of this we don't want you to become so vibrationally snobbish Esther says I'm a vibrational snob I like clarity and I will not accept confusion <laughs> but when you care about how you feel and you practice it until you're in this place where you are sustaining it more consistently then you don't feel like you felt before you know how when you first start knowing that you are the creator of your own reality and you get feeling pretty good and then someone says something that takes you away from your good feeling and you think to yourself I'm never talking to you again <laughs> I'm going to avoid you you are a downer <laughs> but then you find yourself in a sort of state of avoidance everywhere you can't watch television you can't really go out in the world you have to give your children away <laughs> You just can't barricade yourself into enough solitude to really maintain the vibration and you give up so much by trying to do that the benefit of alignment shouldn't have to pay the price of being a hermit you should be able to practice your alignment until you're so good at it that you can go anywhere be anywhere with anyone and maintain your vibration and let's call that step four because Esther wants to. Yeah.